Brace yourselves, fellow gamers, because we're about to dive headfirst into the pixelated Hall of Fame, a realm where frustration and triumph collide in a symphony of button mesh and expletive utterings. Yes, we're talking about those legendary levels that have tested our reflexes, trained our patience, and taught us that throwing controllers is a legitimate form of exercise. From battling turbo tunnels that redefine the meaning of intense, to facing ghosts that haunt our dreams long after the console is turned off, join us as we embark on a comically masochistic journey through the top 5 hardest levels in gaming history. So grab your virtual armor and a dose of humor, we are about to enter a world where victory tastes sweeter than candy and defeat tastes like salty tears and regret. Level 256, Pac-Man Imagine that you're our beloved circular hero, munching away on those dot-filled mazes like a snack aficionado. You've danced with ghosts, avoided collisions, and now you're thinking, I've got this in the bag, but wait, there is a glitch in the matrix. As you chomp your way through levels like the video game superstar that you are, you suddenly stumble upon the mythical 256 level. It's like the game developers put on their mad scientist hats and said, hey, you know what would be funny? Let's break the game. So picture this, you're navigating the maze, eager to outwit those sneaky ghosts, and bam, half of your screen decides it's had enough of reality and transforms into a digital acid trip. How does this happen? Well, in the game code, there's a counter that keeps track of the fruit that appears in the maze, with each level, a fruit is meant to appear after a certain number of dots have been eaten. However, when the counter reaches a value of 256, an overflow occurs in the game's memory. This causes the counter to reset to zero, but due to the way binary numbers work, this reset actually results in the game thinking, oh look, there are 256 fruit counters present. You try to maneuver through the mess, but it's like navigating a spaceship through a meteor shower while blindfolded. Ghosts? Oh, they're probably somewhere in the psychedelic soup too, having a good laugh at your expense. So why is this comically brilliant, you might ask? Well, because it's like Pac-Man decided to host its own quirky art show in the middle of your gaming session. It's the glitch that's more entertaining than half the intentional features in some games of today. And as you scratch your head wondering if you've accidentally ingested some retro-futuristic mushrooms, you're actually witnessing a bit of gaming history, a moment when the pixels rebelled and turned your gameplay into a carnival ride. The Parking Lot Tutorial Driver Hi, ah, yes, the tutorial in Driver, the virtual equivalent of your older cousin trying to teach you how to ride a bike without any training wheels. It's like the game's way of saying, hey buddy, you think you know how to drive? Let's see if you can handle a few simple tasks before we throw you into the traffic circus. Picture this, you're dropped into a quaint little cityscape surrounded by roads that beckon you to explore. But wait, before you can become the next Vin Diesel, you're met with a series of challenges that seem to have been designed by a very stubborn driving instructor. The tutorial in Driver is like a crash course, no pun intended, in the art of virtual driving. It's where you'll curse, laugh and maybe even question your gaming skills. But once you emerge from this trial by fire, you'll have earned your virtual driver's license, ready to tackle the chaos of the actual game with a mix of newfound expertise and a dash of battle scars. Just remember, even if you scrape a few virtual bumpers along the way, you're in good company, so the parking lot level in Driver might be a comical virtual headache, but it's also a chance to turn those laughter induced tears into tears of triumph. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels Released as the true sequel to the original Super Mario Bros., this game is like a masterclass in how to challenge and befuddle players in the most delightful way possible. Imagine this, you boot up the game, ready for another round of Mario's iconic adventures, but wait, what is this? The levels are suddenly giving you side-eye like a mischievous cat plotting world domination. The Lost Levels is basically the game that asked, hey, remember how you breezed through the original? Let's see how you can handle real pain. 
Released in Japan as Super Mario Bros. 2 for super players, the game takes everything that was familiar with the first one and makes it a twist to the remix. Jumping? Well, good luck with those perfectly placed enemies and deviously positioned pitfalls. Mushrooms? Sure, we have a toxic mix of power-ups and poison mushrooms, just to keep you guessing. And oh, did we mention the wind? Yep, say hello to an unexpected gust that treats your jumps like they're made of lead. Level design is like a riddle wrapped in a conundrum dipped in hot sauce. Platforms that looked safe might crumble beneath your feet. And jumping into a pipe? Well, you might just land in the clutches of an enemy instead of a cozy warp zone. And let's not forget the iconic, infuriating and slightly sadistic level 8-4. It's like the game's grand finale of trolling, where you navigate a maze of Bowser imposters while navigating conveyor belts and strategically timed fireballs. If you thought that the original game's Bowser was a challenge, this one is like Bowser on an energy drink binge. But hey, here's the thing, you can't help but love the lost levels for its audacity. It's a game that doesn't hold your head. Instead, it shoves you into the deep end and challenges you to swim. It's a gaming obstacle course that gives you bruises and laughter in equal measure. Through the Fire and Flames, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock Through the Fire and Flames in Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, a title so epic it's practically a saga in itself. Imagine picking up that plastic guitar controller, ready to rock out like a legendary shredder, but then you enter this one and it's like the game is saying, alright, let's see if you've got the chops to handle the most electrifying challenge of them all. First off, the song itself is a relentless barrage of notes that would make even the fastest typists jealous. It's like the game designers huddled together and said, hey, what if we took every possible note combination and turned it into a sonic roller coaster? And the pacing? It's like a high speed chase with a musical twist. The notes fly at you like they're late for a rock concert, and you're the only one who can get them there on time. If your reflexes aren't on point, you'll find yourself hitting air more often than strings. Let's talk about the solo, that epic journey into the realm of guitar wizardry. It's like the game's way of testing your metal, daring you to challenge your inner guitar god. You'll be tapping, strumming and bending notes like a rock and roll sorcerer, all while trying to maintain your composure and keep your combo alive. But here's the thing, failing has never been so much fun. You laugh, you cry, and you might just throw in a few air guitar moves for good measure. It's a level that demands your focus, your rhythm and your determination, because while it is challenging, it is also a testament of the power of music and the sheer thrill of mastering a virtual instrument. So when you finally conquer through the fire and flames, you'll be one of the few, and not just a player, but a rock legend. Or well, a guitar hero, since it's the name of the game. The Turbo Tunnel Battle Thoughts. Last, but actually first, the game that takes the term challenge and cranks it up to 120. Battle Thoughts, where there's the level 3, aka Turbo Tunnel. Buckle up, because you're about to embark on a journey that will test your reflexes, your patience, and possibly your sanity. So picture this you're on a hover bike, zooming down a tunnel at breakneck speed. The catch? Well, apart from the obvious fact that you're hurtling towards walls and obstacles, is that you've got milliseconds to react. Yes, milliseconds. The turbo tunnel is like a virtual reflex test that's been dunked in caffeine and set on fire. Obstacles come at you faster than your brain can process them. You're dodging walls, jumping over pits, and timing your moves with the precision of a surgeon. You might survive one section, feeling a sense of triumph, only to crash and burn in the next, wondering what sorcery is required to master this level. As if what you're saying isn't enough, the level features a catchy tune that's probably permanently etched into your brain. It's like the game's way of saying, you cannot escape this level and you cannot escape this earworm. The Turbo Tunnel isn't just a level, it's a rite of passage. It's where the triumphant, I did it, is followed by the inevitable, wait, how did I do it? But hey, when you conquer it, you're not just a battle sword. You're a battle sword who survived the most grueling speed trial in gaming history. 
So grab the lover bike with your tits and prepare for a wild ride where the only way out is through and past a lot of walls. And there you have it, brave souls and nimble fingered warriors. Through the force, through the most challenging and often comically surreal levels in gaming's storied history. As we bid farewell to the pixelated perils and AI adversaries that seem to have a vendetta against our progress, let's not forget the laughter they've inspired, the friendships forged in the fires of shared frustration, and the sheer satisfaction of conquering the unconquerable. So next time you're faced with a level that threatens to turn your controller into a projectile, remember, it's not just a game, it's a chance to become the hero of your own digital epic. Keep gaming, keep laughing, and may your thumbs remain forever nimble in the face of the impossible. Until the next challenge, fellow gamers, may your save points be frequent and your victory dances legendary.